Aaron and I have discussed October 19th would work best for us. Uh, I have a busy schedule next week, um, if that's agreeable to the court. Your Honor, I think the, the, the predicate related point to that is I think we're both in agreement that in terms of a further session for oral argument, that that is unnecessary unless the court does, I mean, from my point of view, the only purpose of oral argument would be to answer your questions. So that if the court feels after it receives memos from us that it wants oral argument, we'd be happy to do it. But I don't see the need at this point to have it scheduled or hold on to that date for next Friday. Let me say that, that, that we all have, going back a couple of years now and between what's happened uh, in the earlier proceedings before this court, what's happened in terms of briefing before the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court's decision, what's happened today, I, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that the 19th is, is, is a fine time frame to do that. And if after reviewing the party's memoranda of law, I, I think there's some, some need for it, we can talk about it at that point, but, but I, I don't believe there will be. I, I think that there's just there's one issue that, that I would, I'm hopeful that that council will address. And, and I'm, I don't mean to suggest anything by, by posing this question, but it's something that, that, uh, that, that I've been looking at, and that's the question of cases in which a court has upheld a floating uh, zone. Like, where, are, there, are there instances where, where a court has found that, and, I, and, I, and again, there's lots of constitutional issues. I, I don't mean to say that that's the only question that people should focus on, but I'm wondering if counsel could see whether there's any authority for, in, in situations where, where someone has has done that, um, because I see in a lot of the abortion rights cases out of the U.S. Supreme Court that there's concern expressed about this concept of, of a floating, a floating, uh, you know, zone and and issues associated with that. And the court, the justices talk about some of the issues related to to that and enforcement of, of, of those issues. Maybe that, that, that you're not able to find anything, but, but if you can and, and try to address that in part of your pleadings, I would, I would appreciate that. But the 19th is certainly an acceptable uh, time frame for, for both sides. And do you want to just say, at that point, you know, no rebuttal arguments? I, I think you all know what the issues are, uh, and, and, and I don't even think that that's necessary. Well, 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 either side, Anticipated scenario where either side comes up with an argument that wasn't anticipated by the other side. I suppose we could always file a motion for leave to file a rebuttal. Uh, uh, well, Hopefully, we won't get to that. Why don't we handle it that way? I think the 19th is absolutely an, an acceptable time frame. That's you know uh, a couple weeks from, from Monday, so it's not trying to force things too quickly. But uh, that, that's absolutely acceptable, and that that'll be the order of the court. And and I'll uh, defer ruling obviously until I've I've seen all of your your memos of law. Okay, great. Thank you all very much. Have a good weekend. Thank you, Your Honor. All right.